Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can see, we are in Chapter 5, Tangled. We left off. We were about to do this puzzle, I believe. Yes. This is familiar. Because last episode was, fi was 50 gigs, and also OBS decided to record it at a thousand frames per second for some reason, I had a whole hullabaloo with that to deal with. But it turned out okay in the end, but yeah, I had to spend like an hour messing with that just to get it into a usable format, because... OBS saved it as a thousand frames per second, even though it was only 48 frames per second. I don't know how that happened. I've literally never heard of that happening, but apparently it's common enough from a Google search. Interesting. So these are places where we can place stuff. What might we want to actually do here? So this just lowers that up and down, right? What is that for? I guess we would want to shoot over it, right? But we can't get a cube onto here, at least not that I can see. That's just a light strip. Hmm. Well, let's start by putting a bounce pad there. Can we get up there at all? I don't think we can, right? Kinda, but not really? Yeah, not really. Okay. Let's put a bounce pad here. And put a block there. And let's see if anything interesting happens with this. Hey! I see now. All right. It's actually simpler than I expected. There you go! And then now we need to do that ourselves, right? There's landing pads here. We're gonna jump down from there at some point. Also, what's the best way to actually get in here? And onto this bounce pad? That keeps the fan activated. Was I, like, supposed to- was I supposed to run for it? I think I was supposed to run for it. <laughs> that was, uh... that was an interesting interaction there. Alright, let's just try this again. There we go. Almost. Am I really supposed to do that? That doesn't quite seem right. Hmm. Maybe. Well? Hmm. Maybe I need to, like, run behind a red barrier if I even have time for that? Do I even have time for that? Oh, that's... Maybe I was supposed to- <laughs> See, that's what I was wondering, is if this even worked like this. But apparently it does. Apparently it does. Well, there you have it. I think that just gave me extra velocity for no reason. I don't think I was supposed to actually move that quickly. Wait, hold on. Are we gonna come back around over there? I think we're gonna come back around over there, perhaps. Not much to do here. Lots of fans. Lots of fans. And this moves this whole contraption, interestingly enough. That doesn't quite block it in the way I was hoping, now does it? What about this? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced that I was supposed to do that. Although it's pretty easy to just do this. So, yeah. Maybe... Hmm. How do we actually get up to that platform? Oh, it seemed like- oh, here we go! Duh! Duh! Alright, get rid of the queue, please. That retracts quickly. Alright. And... Oh, I'm supposed to block the fans myself, I see. I see. Simple enough. Alright. Aha, we are coming back around. What's that? Music? 
We have music all of a sudden, in this atmospheric puzzle game. Surely not. Okay then. Oops. Oh come on, I landed- I landed on the special pad. What more do you want from me, game? Oh wow, my microphone this whole time in the bottom right corner, I never noticed the square in the bottom right corner because my microphone is blocking it. <laughs> I wonder what else I've missed, I've probably missed several achievements down there as well. Alright, so now we head up there, right? Yeah, I think that was the- the last door that we have not visited yet. There we go. And then we head back into this main room, I'm assuming. Okay. I'm guessing we're gonna move a cube on that. Don't see what else we would do there. Yep. Alright. Hmm. Actually... Let's do that. And... I don't see a way to get the cube on here, right? So I think I just need to book it. Oops, that is not what I wanted to do. Well, that's completely screwed everything up. Let's try this again. Seems to be a bit of a delay, so if I just do... this... Aha, that does work. And then, it pushes it against the wall, and I can just jump on it... up here. Excellent! So I'll be able to press this first, right? This is permanent, right? Yes, indeed it is permanent. Good to note. And then we just launch- oh. Ooh. Oh, the animation plays, because we landed from quite a height. Alright, let's do that, and put a red guy on there. There we go, that should work. So far, still tutorialization, but that's fine. And... yeah, that'll work. Is that? I think whatever you're doing in there is having an effect on the greater structure. Let's hope it's a good thing. This reactor seems to be fully powered and is sending something back. The door to has machine. unlocked, leading back to machine. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> Man, that's another time where the subtitles didn't match. Did the did the voice actors just ad lib it and they never changed the subtitles? All right, well this machine's doing its thing. Am I supposed to go down there now? Perhaps? Perhaps. Yeah, I think we head back, because this is one of the cables that we followed, and then we have to go follow a different cable, perhaps? That would be my guess. So it kind of is a linear open world puzzle game, if that even makes any sense. A linear open world? <laughs> uh I guess it's more like... I mean, there's plenty of games where you backtrack and it's still linear, right? Well, so while I'm here, I want to try something. Options... Video... What happens if I turn on V-Sync? Uh, that introduces quite a bit of delay on my mouse, but I'll get used to it, I suppose. It, sto it stops the screen tearing, which you guys- you guys couldn't see the screen tearing anyway, but I could see the screen tearing. Emma, from what I can tell, this machine is powered by a third, and another door connected to it has opened. How fascinating. Okay, Millie. I trust your judgment. Let's see if it actually works as you think when all thirds are powered. I'm on it. A third? I thought we did one. Don't you mean a second? Unless that counts as the first. Uh, I don't actually know what's going on in this game. Wow, something is very wrong with the mouse sensitivity now that I've turned B-Sync on. Not sure what it is, but it's very disconcerting. Hopefully I'll get used to it. 
So if I swing the camera wildly for no reason, that's probably why. I just about knocked my mouse off the mouse pad. Where are we now? Is this a chapter, or... continuation? Chapter 6, Fragile Dreams. There we go. Another reactor. Let's get this thing powered. Okay, now these doors are active. That door is active. That door is not, and I'm guessing that one up there is not either. Come on. Again with the elevator! The first one for each one of these uses an elevator, then the rest are just rooms connected to it. I wonder why. Then again, the elevator wasn't a loading screen, right? Yeah, so this is not a loading screen. Oh, and I have to turn around. Didn't even notice. Wonder what these are used for. Uh, structural integrity, perhaps? Hold on, this is really driving me insane. General... let's- let's turn this back down a bit. How about 64? There we go, that's a nice power of 2, right? Powers of 2 are good things. Yeah, that's a bit better. There we go. Uh, excuse me, I would like to walk over the cable, not next to it. <laughs> Alright, that didn't do much. Oh hey, fancy that! I bet that could've almost worked there. I wonder. That makes me very suspicious now. Haha! <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't wanna do what I'm supposed to do, I wanna- I wanna break the game. Please, let me break the game. Let's see here. Oh what, that time was too high? But I'm pretty convinced I can break this. I wanna see if I can jump out that window and find a secret puzzle. I'm always on the hunt for secret puzzles. Oh, come on, that almost worked. Just a little bit closer to the edge, I suppose. Come on. How about there? Oh, come on. Come on! What are you doing in the game? I know I'm wasting time with nonsense, but... Come on. When you get an opportunity like this, you do not squander it. Oh, oh yes! Yes! We did it! Oh yes. I broke the game. Can I actually make this jump, though? That's the question. I don't think I can make this jump. Might have to... apply some cleverness. Oh, I can make the jump, but there's an invisible wall! No! <laughs> alright, alright. They put an invisible wall because they knew people like me would try to waste time. Alright, let's just do this as they want me to. Whee! There we go. Interesting. And then I can do this? I can even do them at the same time. That's interesting. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Right, so. Let's just start with this. Uh, thank you. That allows us to get up here. Come on! <laughs> They're teasing me! They are teasing the player! I- I really strongly feel that they are doing that on purpose. Alright, what does this do for us? Absolutely nothing. Got it. Right, so we need this to be in the proper position for that to be of any use to us. Oh, of course. Of course! Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was... 
interesting. That animation plays when you land, just barely. There you go. Right. No getting up there, as much as I would like to. Where... is the sun out there? Where is this glare coming from? It must be the reflection on the wall, perhaps. Otherwise, I'm not sure where the glare is coming from. Right, let's do this as per normal. As per usual, I mean. Okay, so apparently it's height or velocity based, and not just whether or not you land on these bounce pads. Or landing mats, or whatever you call them. Whatever you want to call them. Hmm. Or whatever you want to row. I always wonder why they give us, like, two or three positions to put things. Oh, that works. So far, they're not increasing the difficulty at all, they're just adding new concepts. That's one of my pet peeves, is when you just add new stuff without increasing the difficulty first. Granted, stuff might get way difficult later, but not from what I've heard. Right, what do you want from me now? The other button? Oh, that's the thing that moves, okay. I wasn't paying attention to that. And there you have it. Still an utterly slow walking speed, though. Still moving at a snail's pace. Emma, can I ask you a question? Sure. What would you like to know? So many things are running through my mind. I mean, you were sent to destroy that extraterrestrial object, right? I was, as were many. So, how did we develop this manipulation technology? We tracked the vessel for years since it entered the solar system. Intercepting signals from it, decoding them. We learned about its structure, but not its host. And you use this data to what? Develop this technology I'm wearing? It was going to kill everyone on Earth, Millie. It was an invasion. Sorry. I just... I just need to orient myself. That's all. You've got to admit, this situation is somewhat out of the ordinary. I know. This journey... It's not what I expected either, Millie. Alright. I guess we want to do that and that. And then we get the cube to land up here with us, right? Uh... I didn't jump, it just put me on top of the cube for some reason. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. Ooh. This looks nice, look at this. Hmm. So this entire thing can move, right? Oh, we've gone back to the rotating from cube 1. Alright then. What exactly do we want to do here? Something... something along the lines of this? Yep, that seems about right. I wanted to toggle, right. Wee! Oh, come on! You know I had that game. You know I had that. Alright, back to square one. Come on now. Why is that so hard all of a sudden? 
couldn't have just made it a bit closer. Oh my gosh. What is- why? We're back to physics, guys. We're back to random physics. I sure hope the physics work this time, and they did. Yep, well, same physics problem as cube one. And it's annoying for all the same reasons. Disappointing. There we go. That time it worked. Hmm. Still not seeing any secret areas. These cables going into the back of appliances like this kind of reminds me of Quantum Conundrum. Where do we want to go here? Oh, why, hello there! Uh, that is not what I expected. Oh, oh, okay. Not simple enough. Whee! Come on. We know how to do this. We've done this before. There we go. Now we're up here. Oh crap, that's kind of not what I meant to do. <laughs> oh wow, how did I manage this? Uh, was I supposed to do that? Well? I don't think that's how things were supposed to happen, but that's how they happened. I swear, they are taunting me with that. Uh, okay. Not quite what I had in mind. I guess that works. I just want to take a look out there and then fall back inside. I don't actually want to escape. Imagine playing this game with HDR. Does this game have HDR support? I don't have any HDR monitors. And I don't even know how you would record HDR, but you can upload HDR to YouTube. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happens if we just ignore it, I wonder? It's even possible to just ignore it. It seems like it might be possible to just ignore it. Oh yeah, you can totally just ignore it. I guess that's a speedrun thing. But let's not ignore it. We want to know what this is for. No, I don't think it's humane to knock her away. She needs medical attention. And she needs to be looked after. You don't know what you're dealing with, James. So just do me a favor and drop the management bullshit. Okay. Let's power these other rooms. So basically, the elevator ride takes us to a tutorial sequence, and then we can do the open world stuff. That's what I'm getting from this. This is some nice C418 music. Wait, C418's not the composer? Oh, okay. Alright, so this is the upper room. But down here, we have this room, and then there's also this one down here, right? Oh, that startled me. Okay, nope, never mind. There's this one here. There we go, that's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. Striking visuals. Whee! <laughs> Yep, didn't expect that to work anytime soon. <laughs> That's interesting, you can actually do that. Of course, it bugs out a little bit when it's already at the end. Well, anyway...
exactly what I thought. Eh, uh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, about that. Let's, uh... Get rid of that, please. Ta-da! Mm, it's like magic! Oh. But we need the stairs first. Okay. Stairs are wares. Down here, probably. Interesting. How are we gonna do this one, though? Hmm. This doesn't drop it in any particularly useful spot, now does it? Am I missing something? Is there a panel- oh, there's a panel up there, ooh! What might we use that for? How high does it go? Not high enough. Hmm. What is this panel for? Oh, I can get up here. But... not all the way up here. Uh, okay. I can't just jump on that myself, it's gotta be one of the cubes. What is this upper panel for? Also, can I walk on this cabling? No. The answer to thy question is no. Although, you can totally walk on the cables other times, but it's specifically special case this cable to not be walkable. Hmm. Alright, well let's just rotate this and see what happens. Yep, that's kind of what I expected. <laughs> Not really useful though, because if we do this, it doesn't go above it at all. Yep, that's not helpful. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing a panel or surface or something. Like we want to bring it over here, right? And it seems like it's just the right height to like get it on top of something. Oh yeah. Duh. I need to move the green guy up to here. And put the red guy on here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm dumb. There you go. Ta-da! Magic. And then blue there, and delete please. There we go. That was way overcomplicated in my head. Oh, and that's permanent. Good. What's this then, though? Oh, it's only half the stairs. Okay, that's why. That is why. Right. Do that. Is this gonna be enough height? Hmm. Maybe? Oh yeah, sure enough. That's not what I expected, but sure. Alright, now we can go all the way up the stairs. Slowly, at the pace of a snail. Snail mail. And bam! And bam! There we go. Alright, that was a good, decent, easy, early puzzle. Why didn't we start off with that? Like, why did we have to start off with all the other filler content before this? There we go. So next up is this one, right? Yes. We can do them in any order, of course, but I'm just doing them in this order. Because it seems like the order they want them to do us... They- they want us to do them in. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, then what?
Well, that's just a thing I've done now. I don't know why I did it, but sure. Where am I trying to go? Up, right? Is there a surface I am missing? I do not see any glove surfaces, or portal surfaces, rather. Because these are basically like portal surfaces. It's amazing how much inspiration from portals there is in just about every puzzle game. It really was revolutionary, despite how incredibly easy it was. And they- oh! Yeah, yeah, okay, that's something I didn't press yet, right. But anyway, as I was saying, despite how easy Portal was, and how much untapped potential they left on the table in both Portal 1 and Portal 2, they still are hugely influential. There we go. That seems to make more sense. But yeah, don't let anybody tell you that Portal 1 or 2 are flawless, because they are not flawless. They have a lot of problems, and they left a lot of untapped potential, a lot of obvious untapped potential, and they're very easy. But, uh, yeah. They're still very innovative at the same time. Come on. What am I doing here? I want that one, and that one. There we go. Bam! Why did I do that? I don't actually know. <laughs> That was weird. BAM! Right, cause there's this thing, right? I swear sometimes I can't right-click when I want to. And it launched me over it. Okay, so we need to put the red thing there. Simple as that. Or not. How about- oop, come on. Can I not stand on this? I apparently cannot stand on this, that's unexpected. Yeah, what? What? I can walk up it, but then I can't stand on it. Okay then. This is not the solution. Okay, maybe it is the solution when the physics wants to cooperate? Physics! <sighs> oh, and that's why we need the cube up here. Gotcha. Physics? There we go. It really seems like there'd be a secret up here, right? Hmm. Hmm. I am suspicious. Can't be done, I guess. Apparently they just hate secrets. Right, let's get out of here. Maybe speedrunners can do it, but not me. Oh, come on. Uh, excuse me. What? How did- I'm not even sure what happened there. Right, final one for this area. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!